Six electricians die a week due to asbestos-related diseases. Six joiners die every week due to asbestos-related diseases. 182 construction workers die each week due to asbestos-related diseases. I've worked since 1953 and I was a joiner. I've ripped out shops that were asbestos lined, cleaned them up, put it in a skip. In my day, nobody said you should be wearing overalls, you should have masks. You wouldn't have been able to work with that outfit on. Um, but I never ever questioned. Uh, a boss said to me, I want you to take four men up to Aberdeen and strip out that old butcher shop. We're going to turn it into a baker's. I just got the boys with me, the, the skips to throw the rubbish in, and I mean, you were throwing stuff out. You didn't know whether there was asbestos in it or there wasn't. You were, you were touching stuff all the time. You didn't know you were touching asbestos that was going to do anything. Very serious thing now. It's laying in me for 50 years, and I didn't know it. Slide, and then you just make this one, just arrange it there, that big one, 
that one is um the screw and that will show you the optical properties of the fiber. You cannot identify asbestos. The only way you can do it is um, sending it to a laboratory where they put it under a microscope and they know what asbestos fibres look like. Um, the it depends. There is different types of asbestos. Despite what some people may say, there is no safe asbestos. Quite, you either get licensed asbestos or unlicensed. A lot of people will say that unlicensed is classed as safe. It's just slightly less dangerous. What is the cost of removal? Cost of removal can vary greatly. It can, it can vary from a couple of hundred pounds to we've got a job at the moment that's sat at 300,000 pounds. But normally where well is, because the issue with this is any fibres can get in his boot laces and it means that he can't clean his boots down. So normally he would be in a pair of wellies. Okay. You have learned so much about asbestos. Where it comes from, places it can still be found, how it is tested and how it should be removed. We have also learned how dangerous it can be. When materials that contain asbestos are disturbed or damaged, fibres are released into the air. When these, when you breathe in these fibres and cause serious diseases, these diseases will not affect you right away. They can often take a long time to develop. But once diagnosed, it's often too late to do it. This is why it's important that you protect yourself now. Asbestos is a hidden killer. So learn the facts and do the safety acts. <laughs>